everyone, it's me, Miss Vicky, and I'm live in my studio again. I have totally missed you. It's been a few weeks since I've posted another stay-at-home challenge, but I do have another challenge for you. It's challenge number 13. That's right. Okay, so you may have heard that if you go out in public, you need to social distance, um, and you also are required to wear a mask. I believe if it, in some states, it's if you're over the age of five. In other states, it's the age of 10. So I'm not sure how old you are, but I'm guessing you're at least seven years or older and you might be making a mask at home with your family or wearing masks when you go out in public. So um, my family and I have practiced sewing masks. Um, we've also purchased masks, but I was thinking about children and I was thinking about, is there a way that people and children can make masks without sewing? Is that possible? And I watched a few um, videos online and there were some that you can make with a bandana and elastics so were really cool but they're very bulky and then there were others you could make with a t-shirt using the bottom part of the t-shirt but it got me thinking and I came up with my own version that I think you'll really enjoy it might work out best if you have a white t-shirt again which maybe you could use the t-shirt that you used in the other challenge when we made the beautiful necklaces okay so what you're gonna need for this challenge is a hand dandy old t-shirt now we're going to be using just the sleeves to make two masks and then the bottom part of your t-shirt okay so just the sleeves and the bottom part so each t-shirt could make at least two of these types of masks not to mention a number of other masks the second thing you're going to need is a pair of handy dandy scissors okay make sure you have permission to use those scissors and then for fun, I thought if you have beads, pony beads, beads with big holes laying around, we could use those to decorate the lace of our um, shirts. They'll still tie onto your head, but they'll have a little fun attached to them. And when you walk and you shake your head, they'll make a handy dandy noise. Okay. I also thought about markers. I really thought it would be fun to color these masks. But then I did something. I made a, an, a concept idea of a face and I realized that I was breathing in the fumes of those markers. So if you decide to decorate your mask in any way and it goes anywhere near your nose or your mouth, um, that means anything you're going to be wearing over your face, I strongly suggest and I'm telling you, you need to wash the mask before you put it on your face. Otherwise, we will the mask will not be helping you. It, you'll be um, inhaling the markers, okay? So if you do decide to decorate your mask in any way, I want you to wash the mask before you wear it. So permanent markers last on cotton the longest, okay? And they'll last through the wash and you'll get rid of the fumes and you'll just be left with beautiful colors. Um, Non-permanent markers might, and my washable markers, are obviously going to probably wash out of your material, but they might leave a pretty watercolor stain, something like that. Okay, again, I am not suggesting you draw on these masks, but if you do, please wash your mask before you wear it. All right, let's get started. All right, here's your t-shirt, and so what you're going to do is cut along the line where your t-shirt is sewn exactly right there this is going to give you a two layered mask okay so you're cutting along this line if you want to you could take a paper towel when your mask is done and you put it inside of here and that gives you three layers on your mask you'll have a three layered mask that way So this is not about perfection. This is about not measuring, but still getting something that you can wear, okay? So. All right, so you have a shape that could go over your face. This is perfect. Perfect, okay. Next, you're gonna go to the bottom of your t-shirt, which is this, this whole, we'll put that on the side, the whole bottom of your t-shirt, and you're gonna cut all the way from one side to the other, okay? 
Okay. Just for the thickness of where, um, of right there. first mask we have this is gonna be the string that goes around your mask and that's gonna be your mask so you're gonna take this you're gonna cut it there and then evenly cut it there so you have two pieces and your mask then you're gonna take this and stretch it out as much as you can if it has a tag on it like mine you might want to snip it off and you're gonna take the second piece and stretch it out as much as you can. Okay, those are gonna be your ties. Then you're gonna open up your two-layered mask, which is really a sleeve. I want you to be able to see this. And you're gonna stick, ah, I'm having a hard time. You're gonna stick that through on one side. Okay, these are gonna be your ties that you tie around your head or if you do it small for your ears. But I suggest going around your head. And the other side. And that's really gonna be your mask. Now here comes the fun part. You are gonna find your beads. Voila, so pretty. I love beads, they make everything happy. And you're gonna have to cut these much smaller. You're gonna have to cut these much smaller to fit the pony bees on. Um, now I'm not going all the way down because I don't want the beads traveling down here because you'll feel that on your face. You're just leaving little spots. And then pick your favorite colors, whatever you like. If it doesn't fit, you'll have to trim off more. So there's one. and I'm gonna tie it. So there's two pretty beads. And you can do as many as you want. I could do another one. I think this is gonna be too thick. So again, woo! Do something like that. to be perfect it doesn't have to be even and nothing has to match this is about being spontaneous having some fun and taking a challenge and doing the best job you can that's that's it oh look the whole bead came off but that's okay it still looks really cool and it's unique I could try putting it back on again and maybe tying it completely on something like that And you're gonna do that to um oh it keeps falling off you're gonna do that to all four of yours maybe i'll just show you
<laughs> oh, oh no. Oh well. Okay, that's the way that one is, and that one's like that. That's fine. This side has five. Did you hear that noise? Clang, clang. Makes a really pretty sound. works for you. So, I have my four beads. Now, instead of coloring here, I would suggest using your markers to color the strips, okay? So, Maybe it could have a saying on it, um, like love. Love. Or it could just have beautiful colors on it. Again, do not color here um, because you'll be breathing in those fumes. If you do happen to color there, you need to wash your mask before you wear it to get rid of the fumes. Because those could be harmful um, to your lungs and to your breath. Inhaling the smells is not good. listen to me when I say that. All right, well, we're done and I'm going to show you how I put my mask on. All right, everybody, here we go. I can't wait to show you how I put my mask on. I have taken my mask so you can see it. I love masks. I'm going to put one side, oops, <laughs> that didn't work so well. Let me try that again. Let's try that again. Okay, everyone, here's my mask. You can take one side and tie it around the top of your head. And then you can take the bottom side. It got stuck in my ponytail and tie it around your head, like so. And then you're gonna take the bottom side and that's gonna go around, oops, the bottom. 
So I used a child's t-shirt, so this should fit you even better than it fits me. It'll wrap higher around your neck. And then this can just get tucked like that. It's cute because it kind of looks like a ponytail. All right, here we go. I'm gonna turn around so you can catch the backside. Did you see it? Let me show you again. Okay, so there you have it, a beautiful homemade simple mask with no sewing. I mean, what else can you ask for? Have a beautiful day, wash your hands, stay healthy, and have fun making these masks. Again, you could bead them all the way up if you want, but I would stop them around here, tie a knot around here. That way they're not pressing against your face and causing a headache, and up here would be really nice. And these can go in the washing machine. And you, again, you can make two masks for every one um, set of beads. Here's the really cool thing I just realized. It kind of looks like a necklace afterwards if you just decide to wear it or if you have a toothache. <laughs> just kidding. Remember, be spontaneous, stay creative, and have some fun. And I'll see you next time on Spontaneous Creations Stay at Home Challenge. Thanks for watching. Bye. Please like and subscribe.